Hello everybody, welcome to the Blood Bowl 3 Super League. Um, we did it in Blood Bowl 2 a few times and now we're doing it in Blood Bowl 3 with a ticket for the World Championships up for grab. In with me to do it is Dimmy G. Hello Dimmy. Whoa, hello Jimmy, how's it going? Not bad, thanks. Um, so yeah, this is pretty good. What we did was invited the roughly the top nine from the Season 2 finals. Uh, obviously, I had to be in there because it's my thing. <laughs> and uh, and then we've also got Olivia Dulac as the number one NAF ranked player in the world. And Saul as the number one ranked NAF player in the USA. Because the USA were un unrepresented, not even under, unrepresented in the play-ins, right? So I thought at least really? we've got wow. an American in there. That's nice, isn't it? So... Uh, so yeah, we've got this. You can see there on the picture, you know, on the picture there, everyone's got some, you know, quite a few accolades of various things, haven't they? So that's pretty nice to see. No need to run through them all, um, but you know, you can look if, if you're interested. Uh, so you know, like there's there's no doubt that everyone's really good, right? So that's 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 the main that's the main takeaway from that is that everybody's really good. So uh, shall we just shall we just get into making the draw for the for the groups then, eh? Yeah, I'm super hyped for this. Well, we should probably just tell people what races people have taken first. Oh, yeah. So I didn't have it in there, but it's in. So here's the draw. Here's the draw pitch. So yeah, there you go. Yeah. So if you'll notice, we've got, what is it, four orc teams, two wood elves, two skaven, one dwarf, one black orc, one human. Two humans. So, two humans. Two humans. Mm. So, <laughs> An orc division. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I am. I am. That is exactly what I'm here for. I just want to see four orcs in one division with probably like two Skaven as well. That would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, let's let's find out. Let's do the first spin. So we'll do we'll do Group A, number one, first. Oh, it's exciting. Oh my god, that's two, that's two. Oh no, that was Jimmy Fantastic. I was looking at the top. <laughs> it's Moomin Slayer. There you go. Moomin Slayer is the first. I was looking at the top. Oh, yeah, I just took it at the start. I thought it was me. Moomin Slayer is the first player. So that is Black Orcs. There you go. Everyone immediately praying for Group A. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Now let's see who's in group B. Yeah, I don't know where the sp oh the spinners at the left hand side there. Yeah, yeah, it's there. Yeah. Andy oh, Devo. Has it, has it removed moving? Yeah. It has. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Andy Devo. Orcs. Orcs. Oh, this is exciting. It's pretty good, isn't it? There you go. Look, Andy Devo's in the group. We want anything other than orcs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. Let's see. So this is for this is for number two in Group A, and and this will they will be playing uh, Movement Slayer in round one. You see, I've I've had to manually do all of the uh, the fixtures, so it's all it's all it's all very oh, technical. Okay, so there you go. So it's oh, that's cool. So you yeah. know who everyone's playing straight away. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Right. So let's go number two in Group A is. Oh, Jimmy, fantastic! Oh, this is fixed. <laughs> you, so you're playing Moon Moon first. The Orcs versus Black Orcs. Yep. Yep. Not a terrible matchup. And you're avoiding one of the Orcs as well. <laughs> yep, yep. Not terrible, not terrible. <laughs> right, let's see who faces Andy Devo week one. He's probably hoping for the Dwarfs. <laughs> he gets out of his black! <laughs> well, oh, is that that's an orc mirror as well? Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be gripping that one. Oh, dear. This is. Are you sure this is a rig, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny, isn't it? Um, is this your pre-recorded spinner? <laughs> that's why, that's why you were late. That's why you were late, wasn't it? You were, you were just recording your spin. Yeah, no, that's that's not true. That's not true at all. Uh, it's not true at all. Um, I've I also forgot to go live. It's it's because I was frantically sorting the um, sorting the the you know the manual the manual yeah, scheduling no. out. Yeah, no. Right. So the third person in Group A. Let's find out who that is. Oh, 
Diamed. Oh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have put Diamed in my group. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> he's now skipped to his busted. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. This was. This is not how I would cheat. <laughs> Oh, he's on orcs. He's on orcs as well. Okay, at he least is, at yeah. least that's that's fair because then we got two orcs in each division, right? So that's yeah, yeah, it's a good that, point. That's quite, it's kind of worked out perfectly, I think, for the yeah. sake of diversity in the groups. And and the black orcs. So all of the orc related teams are out so far. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty mad. Mm, nice. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter for the rest of the contestants <laughs> where they go now. <laughs> well, let's find out. The third one in Group B. Is Cruz the goat? Oh, oh, bloody Nora! <laughs> the goat of CCL. And he's got humans, is he? He's got humans, yeah. Oh, humans are pretty rough into orcs. I think. Yeah, they are a little bit rough. Yeah. Yeah. They've got the speed, though, haven't they? They've got the speed, which is something. Oh, it's just the strength, isn't it? And they don't necessarily get guard them. It's going to be tough for him, especially against Art and Davo. But like. If I mean, Cruz is the, the GOAT of BB2. He is, yep. Yeah. Right, let's see who Diamed's playing in week one of Group A. Inarian. Woodies. Woodies, of course, yep. Yeah. Woodies. Would he like to be playing Diamond? <laughs> He's got some pretty good games already. Mmm. And, I mean, it's inevitable, right? The, the 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 twelve people we've got is pretty unbelievable. So, um, yeah, let's see who Cruz is playing. Hero. Ah, uh, dwarves. dwarves. Mm. Oh. Hero is not going to have fun, is he? <laughs> he probably. I mean, he'd rather be in that group than the other one with the black orcs, right? At yeah, least he's avoided was... the black orcs. <laughs> I he could have been in like an all orc group with black orc and just himself. That would have been hilarious. It's so funny. Yeah, that would have been amazing. Right, only four teams left. Both the rats are still to uh, be chosen and Woody. So a very lot of light teams here. And of course, Call Troop, the heroic third place. From uh, yeah, so we got funds. two two rats, one human, and what's the other race? Woody's Strider with Woody's. Is, yeah. So, Group A, Group A, let's see who it is. Call Troop. Humans. No lizards for him to beat, but uh, that's interesting, isn't it? So, we've got human, the humans are split, and yeah, the orcs that's are split. Nice. Mm. All we need is woodies now, and then we're guaranteed like no, no like like the best split we could have got if we get humans. Pretty much, yeah, uh, yeah, because then the woodies. woodies and the rats, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow, let's hope this is this is actually amazing. Yeah, it, it's not a fix either. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's see who's Great. in <laughs> Group B. So it's Strider we need. It's Sol. Okay, it still could work, it still could work. Still could work, yeah, 50-50. Yeah. Yep, so there you go. Sol is the number one ranked in USA in NAF tabletop with rats. He'll be taking them to Greece, probably. So, uh, you know, this is kind of Euro Bowl rules. Should have done that at the start. It's nearly Euro Bowl rules, uh, you know, resurrection, uh, custom teams and everything. So, pretty cool. Right, Call Troop Humans will be playing either... Olivia Dulac with Skaven or Strider eighty four with Woody's. Let's find out. Oh, that's that's two names that you've got to pick one to play against, isn't it? <laughs> it's Strider. So it's Woody's. So it means mm. the two rats are in the same group. And the two Woody's are in the same group. Yep. So yeah, there's no need to do the last the last draw. It is of course Olivia Dulac there. Yep, yep, it did land on him. <laughs> <laughs> and he's playing Saul, Skaven Mirror. Skaven Mirror. We've got an Orc Mirror and a Skaven Mirror in the first round. How cool yeah. is that? Cool and when, what, that? when do these games take place? Um, so it's starting this weekend. We're starting this weekend. Um, oh, what? So what, from Saturday or from Friday? or From Saturday. Saturday. Yep. Yeah. 
So, uh, so you can see there, this is mm, this is unfortunately not as good as it could have been, is it? But you can you can almost see. How do I take the uh, how do I take the text off here? Right, I'll take the chat box off. You have to go to OBS. Yeah, right. So I've taken the chat off, and oh god, don't don't, don't look how Jimmy's the sausage is made. Moomin, Cool Troop, Strider, Anarian, Diomed. Wow, that could be a big game six. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's not big enough for my name. I, I, as I say, this is last second, but uh, yes, yeah, so that they're all big games. I mean, this is the beauty of it, right? They're all big games. It's uh, it's going to be amazing, and uh, now we can switch to. Blood Bowl three, of course, and uh, and we can even see all the teams and stuff. So there you go. Let's shall, shall we look at the uh, at the teams? Dimrath. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. So Group A. Moomin Slayer. Let's have a look. Maybe should have started with this. I don't know. Um, I don't know if Dimmy's still alive or not. Maybe something's happened. Right, I'll soldier on. So yeah, so here we go. This is Moomin Slayer. A um, couple of block black orcs, four guarders, and a dirty player sneaky git. So he used a double on the dirty player and the stacking. So he used. He basically spent four skills to get this dirty player sneaky git i don't really think it's worth it honestly uh but when i made this team i uh I, I like i went run through every every race right to like get a feel of them um the rules are i should have i should have put in the title the rules are mostly like um euro ball so there you go there's the there's the links there for you yeah it's no bribe no bias ref yeah, so that that really obviously they would really like a bribe or two, wouldn't they? Hello, Demi. So. Uh, oh, hello. Sorry, yeah, I've got Kyle. No problem. So yeah, there there you go. That's um. So yeah, so they what well, they are, it's Euro Bowl team. So so each team is about thirteen odd TV. Yeah, right? so these are they, they're pretty heavy on the skills in Euro Bowl. Mm. Very, very naff style thing. Yeah, it's, de it's definitely at the higher end of TV. Yeah, and four re rolls, so it's uh, it's interesting, isn't it? But yeah, when I made Black Orcs, I gave the troll block. I really like giving the troll block. Um, yeah, but mighty blow with punch. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. I mean, I think it was Inarian who did that. Oh, I can't remember. So I think it was Inarian had a block tree, and I really like that. So um, so you know, I, I uh, no spoilers, Jim. No spoilers. <laughs> Come on. No, no. In 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 the playoffs, you know, the the oh, season two right. playoffs. No, I really like that. You said block tree, didn't you? No, no, I said block troll. I'm oh, pretty okay. Sure, so. I'm pretty sure I had a block troll, so I would. Uh, I have disabled the prayers. Yep, I'm a clever boy. Uh, but you know, look, sneaky get dirty player can completely ruin teams, can't it? So it can. It's feel, but it is a goblin, so it's like, hmm, how many times is he going to get to use it? Oh, like, we need to. We need to like. I need someone in chat to nominate themselves as a dedicated foul counter for Moomin Slayer's <laughs> sneaky get dirty player, and we need to find out how many he completes in the in the whole competition and how many removals he gets. There you go. There you go. Someone, someone nominate yourself to watch all of Moomin's games. <laughs> nominate I nominate Dimmy. Dimmy. Oh my god. <laughs> You've taught yourself in that one, Dimrath. <laughs> no, no, it's all right, Jim. I've got a fix for this. There you go. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sneaky get dirty player. No, no, no. A, 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 a bribe with sneaky get, and that is is banned from Eurobo rules. You're not allowed to bribe if you have a sneaky get in Eurobo. Yeah, rules. there is. Yeah, someone mentioned that in the um, Eurobo rules. But yeah, you can't take a bribe and sneaky. Get. Yeah. So there you go. And he, of course, Moomin Slayer is up against Jimmy Fantastic with his amazing Geordie Shaw theme team. That's the best thing about this is that, you know, if you've ever is seen that, Geordie Shaw. Oh my god. <laughs> you'll know a lot of these names. Oh my god. I cannot support this team, Jim. <laughs> just, and the black and white with a, with a kind of, you know, the, the horsey type thing from the uh, Newcastle thing. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And, uh,. Yeah, there you go. So I quite like this team, obviously, because I chose it. But <laughs> away, <laughs> away, man. <laughs> Why? 
I actually, if I could, if I could change my mind, I would drop the troll. Honestly, I would drop the, I would, I would change the troll into a lineman, and really? yeah, and then either get the get a fourth re-roll or you know turn it into a re-roll and an apple or turn it into a lino and an apple. I'll do something other than the troll. I, I the already regret might, taking the troll. I mean, the troll might be alright in an old mirror, you know. It might be, but it hasn't got guard, right? So I didn't want to put more points onto it because it's unreliable, but then it just stands there like an idiot without guard. It doesn't really do a lot, so... I don't Mate, know. He's going he's gonna to vomit on a gutter runner. Oh, no, he's not, because they're not in your group, are they? <laughs> no, true, but the woodies are. He could, he could vomit on a war dancer. Um, yeah, there you that's go. The th thing. I knew there'd be, like... I mean, I didn't know, but obviously very good chance of Olivia Dillac and uh, Sol both having Skaven, so... Against those, I'd rather just have a lineman and a reroll. Honestly, I think a reroll would have been good. Four rerolls to reroll hits on, like, you know, gutter runners and war dancers. I really wouldn't have hated. Um, so, yeah, he's, he's a bit slow. I'm, I'm not a fan of the uh, troll there. So, But, you know, yeah. I, I like I like, I like like the frenzy, you know, copied that off Davo because it's kind of like a mighty blow and a tackle in the same player, right? Like, it, it, you don't... You copied, loads of people... You copied it off Davo, so you, yeah. you just waited for Davo to submit his team and then just copied it. In the Season 2 play-ins again, Dimmy. Because <laughs> <laughs> loads of people split. They have a mighty blow character and a tackle character. Whereas if you yeah, take a frenzy, yeah. it's kind of doing both, right? And it lets you get another guard. And obviously, guard is really flipping good. So, uh, guard is good, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, you know... If you on, got... so nobody took Undead. That's mad. It is wild, isn't it? That is wild. It's yeah. absolutely wild. Yeah, I don't believe it, to be honest. But there you go. Right, so, and then obviously six guard there. Um, right, and then the next ones in Group A is Diomed. So, yeah, you can see he dropped down the troll to a lineman. The problem, the, the reason that I didn't want to do this so much is that you have three assistant coaches, which is like a bit of waste of money, right? Um but then I guess, you know, if, if, you, if you win a thing, it's good. And he went all four guard big uns, uh, not th I only went three and went for an extra skill on the blitzer. But he has taken a frenzy rather than a tackler. But Andy's also he's taken a mighty blow. blow well, yeah. See, he's but, light on guard. He's only got five guard. Yeah, only. <laughs> Which isn't, yeah, I mean, when you compare it to what you've got. like. It's... I mean, I've only got six. <laughs> that, it, that's what it's going to make. And you've got a trial as well. Mm, mm. But, um... I don't know. Pretty yeah, it's a pretty pretty good team, isn't it? You know, almost what he took for the season two. Play, I like the fact players. that his team name is Tier Two? Question mark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's kind of crazy. I mean, that that's obviously why four of us took Orcs because they were yeah, Tier Two and it's, it's so good. Yeah, it's uh, it's very strong getting Orcs for Tier Two, um, which is the same tier as Wood Elves, which Inarian has taken. And there you go. Inarian has only got he's only taken one reroll uh, uh, plus leader. It's only two total. So I, this is an overtime format though, is it? So if it if it's it a draw it ends a draw, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Which which makes the one reroll less I mean it's still scary as hell, but it's less bad than overtime, right? Yeah, but he's got he's got loads of positionals, that's that's what he's done. He's got three catchers and two throwers. And uh, a couple of blockers no sidestep. Yeah, no apple. Whoa. He's got 12 players though, so he's got loads of players and uh, <laughs> loads of positionals. <laughs> yeah, well, it's loads, it's loads of right, They're going to explode. This team is gonna be, <laughs> like, if it doesn't explode, it's going to be amazing, but it, it's mm. going to explode at least one of these games. So. I mean, yeah, right, but probably Orcs will as well, won't they? Mate, um, the old DP sneaky git goblin looks pretty good against these boys. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. A tackle, a stripper, a dodge lineman. Uh, so yeah, not not standard woodies, right? This is a this is a pretty. pretty yeah, it's gonna be good to see an army and play woodies in BB3. He's not been mm. around in BB3 for a while, has he? He's not not much. No, nobody so. has really. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. There's there's an orange woodies, and then uh, the final match of this first week is Call Troop versus Strider. So let's have a look at Call Troop. Again, using humans like he did for the Season 2 Finals. Uh, three guard, tackle, mighty, three blockers, and a halfling, three rerolls. Apple, pretty nice. And a halfling, 14 players. <laughs> yeah. He's got the throw teammate. He's got his two bludge catchers. It's all right. It's, it's, it's just going to struggle against the Orcs, I think. 
And mm. then it's, this is against the Black Hawks as well, isn't it? Yeah. And you probably do alright against Black Hawks. I think. Yeah. I wonder if he should have dropped a dropped a line off for another reroll, right? Because fourteen players is a hell of a lot. But maybe he's just gonna, you know, his plan is to foul the ass off the uh, <laughs> off the elves and stuff that he faces, and uh, you know, plenty of players versus orcs. Yeah. But yeah. I would, I think I would have. I don't, I don't really like fouling with no DP, no sneaky gear, and no bribe. Like it, I feel like this is not because of the fact that you can't take inducements. I think like fouling should be secondary. Like it should be like something that you can do. Like unless you're playing like I don't know, uh, Underworld or something. But like like this like for you, I, I'd probably veer away from fouling game and into something. Mm. I, th I just think you should have taken the four three roll. Basically, I think there's yeah. so, there's so much money here, isn't there? That it's like fourteen players. I mean, it's more like thirteen and a half. Honestly, like my limited experience of humans on tabletop, like I, I, if I could do it again, I'd go all four guard blitzers and just not even bother with tackle one way blow. Yeah, well, this is the thing. You see, this is why I, this is why I like the frenzy because then you you roll consolidation. Kind of tackling, yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> well, at least, yeah, I definitely, I definitely have three guard blitzers, like minimum, and then, like, I'd, I'd probably take the fourth one as guard, but you can obviously. Mm. Throw is pretty good, though. Yep. Yeah, I quite sure. like the throw, actually. Yeah. Sure hands. Sure hands. Yeah, good against the wood elves. The, but they don't have strip. Oh, they do. They don't have tackle. <laughs> <laughs> Disregard. Errata, errata. <laughs> <laughs> This is striders, and, the, and their catchers don't have sprint. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, they really don't. This is <laughs> this is striders team. He's gone for the more normal build of two re rolls and an apple, um, and unlike in our um, But yeah, he's gone for a rather bizarre mighty blow. Yeah, that's very that's very un unstandard. A um, couple of dodgers, a wrestler, the leader. So you know, both wood elf teams have taken the leader. Um, but yeah, that's that's wild, isn't it? The mighty blow. He's gonna be punching AV10 in three of the six <laughs> games. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Can still I get guess lucky at least though. The Blackhawks have some goblins, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, uh... And you still get lucky if you chip an orc. It it gets really really hard for the orcs, you know. So yeah, but is it? Do the orcs? Do they all have apos? And then do they have a twelve player? Uh, they all have twelve player or an apo. Mm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Better might blow than orcs. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. The tackles yeah, just does nothing true. against the orcs. So while it's not great against the orcs, it's literally better than nothing. And then versus the soft teams, it can remove players. And if you do chip an orc, it's amazing. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just not standard, isn't it? It's not. It's unstandard. The mighty blow, but could be. And the thrower is the thrower standard or not standard? I don't. I think so. Yeah, that. leader. Leader's pretty good, isn't it? Oh, was that the right? Okay, yeah. Yeah, lead, leader's really good. Uh, but he's only got two catches, whereas, yeah, Sunari want more positionals and a reserve instead of the apple, but it cost him a re-roll. I think I prefer the three re-rolls for Strider. Um, oh, because of the leader, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I mean, that's the thing, isn't it? It's like, if you have to roll, like, if you have to re-roll something early in, a, like, an early turn, and you've only got one re-roll, <laughs> like, it's just miserable for the rest of the drive. Yep, yep. So scary. Yeah, three re-rolls. Yep. So there you go. So those are the those are the six teams in Group A. So they're all just in a ladder now because we're we're just gonna like spin into each other because you know then that takes away all of the hassle of you know sorting out the league. Um, I wonder if the Woodies are gonna dacker against the Woodies. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, yeah, glorious. Uh, pretty hilarious. And uh, so how this works is everyone is gonna play each other once. That'll be five five weeks, uh, five games total, and then we'll cut to the winner of Group A will play the runner up of Group B. And the winner of Group B will play the runner-up of Group A, and then that's you know the semi-finals, and the final will be the winner of those two matches, of course. And Group B, I mean, what a match to start this is! Andy Devo versus Atmos Black. That is incredible, isn't it? An orc mirror. Um, sure. So yeah, yeah, Andy's gone two block biggins rather than all guard. So it's the same roster as oh, it's actually not the same roster as as Diamed. He's taken a dedicated fan rather than one of the assistant coaches. I think I prefer the three assistant coaches, but he's gone for the yeah. extra dedicated fan. Um, dedicated fan is just for the prayers and awful table, isn't it? Uh, must be. Yeah. I think it gives you plus one to the 
the prayers table. <clears> I've literally got no prayer. idea. <laughs> no, I think it is. It's literally that. Like, it's because the assistant coaches is the one for. for well, no, it's the cheerleaders is for that, isn't it? No, oh, is that cheerleaders? Yeah, no, it's cheerleaders. Uh, yeah. So, what's dedicated fans then? Dedicated fans was like money, wasn't it? But I don't know what it does in game. I don't know what it does in game. Anyway, it gives you like extra fans. <laughs> Fan factor. Fun factor. Gold, yeah. Why does he mm. need gold? It's res. It's not gold, yeah. So I don't know. It must be for the fan factor for some things like whatever the effect fan factors. Like, is that like the the ref and stuff? Pitch invasion, oh, pitch yeah. Invasion. An officious ref. Things like those. Oh, maybe that's the correct split then. Dave oh. probably knows the correct split from tabletop, doesn't he? Maybe that's better. But I mean, I would have done the same as Diamond and gone three assistant coaches. Uh, but I definitely prefer four four guard biggins. Than a two block two guard, but you know it'll be interesting one. It'll be interesting, and then I tackle mighty again. Uh, so yeah, so he actually he actually hasn't gone frenzy, Three right? Guards, so yeah. I went frenzy, and uh, Diamond went frenzy, and then Dave was has gone away from frenzy. And he's just tricked you. He's attacking. been he's been doing it for years, playing <laughs> frenzy just to trick you in BBSL. Yeah, so, he's coming out with a non frenzy. Outrageous, isn't it? Absolutely outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. So there you go. So that's his 12 players. Apple, two re three rerolls, no troll. Up against Art, who... I'm in <laughs> he's, he's got a Valleys, the Valleys theme, which is like the Welsh version of Geordie Shaw. <laughs> With all of the things that the Welsh people say. And like a sideways Welsh flag. Brilliant. What um, does Tempin mean? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, like ugly, basically. Oh no, tampon means raging. Tampon means raging. Uh, Angin, mingin, and boggin all mean ugly. Oh, I know what they are, yeah. I don't know what C W T C H is. Kutch. Kutch. Kutch means uh, stupid, I think. And then what's T W P? Uh, I don't know, just something. Something most <laughs> people say. <laughs> means fit, right, I think. Tidy, lush, so no, maybe it's took means stupid. I don't know. It, let, let's not talk about things I don't know about. Let's look. Let's look at the team. It's got guard. So he's oh, gone for the troll. <laughs> he's gone. Hey, he's gone for the troll. Uh, taking block on his thrower. Very safe block thrower. Two him. guard biggins. And what he's done is he spent three skills on stacking the mighty blow on the tackle. Oh, yeah. Not sure about that. <laughs> I mean, it's good against the woodies. Uh, no, not woodies. The rats. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, for his half, yeah, and and the woodies, if if you know, get the playoffs and that. But uh, yeah, only three guard is very guard light, isn't it? Well, Andy's only got three guards. Yeah, good point. Good point. Very guard light, both of them. Both of them, yeah. Like, I mean, that's the thing with with it though. Like, the guard is only really good in like against like your your undeads, your orcs. Like against the rats and against the woodies, like it's less. I mean, it's it's obviously still really good, good for like caging the ball, but it's like still really good. Yeah, oh no, it's amazing. Yeah, don't get me wrong, but it's not it's not as good against someone who's gonna just dacker against you and then like run past you. Yeah, you know, yeah. But then what is like, uh, uh, the odd block, right? Like that's why I think guess that's why Dave has gone for the split of the guard and the the block because the block's a bit better versus the dodgy teams. Yeah, but, it's hard. It's hard because you can't like you can't build for like you, you you're trying to build for everyone and like like that's the thing. If you go really really guard heavy, you're really really good in the bash side of it, but you're not very good in the dodge side of it. And like normally there's a lot more blodges on like mm -hmm. res. Yeah. So there you go. That's that. Then we've got Cruz versus Hiru. So Cruz, the legend, the legend that is Cruz. Um, Whatever this team is, will be the correct human team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's gone for the fourth reroll, so he's got the the same roster as Call Troop, except he swapped the fourteenth player for the fourth reroll. I, I definitely like doing and that. And he's yeah, he's not got the mighty blow blitz, so he's got the third guard blitz. So. Yeah, yeah, third I'm guard and a block ogre. Yeah, I like the block mighty blow, isn't it? You got you got mighty blow on the team already with the ogre. You don't need it on a blitzer as well, like yeah. Yeah, so he's taken block off the thrower. 
and guard off the ogre to turn the guard yeah. into block. Oh, the throw doesn't need block. Like he's not going to carry the ball, is he? He's going to pick it up and throw it to the catcher. <laughs> so uh, he probably he probably has tuk tuk. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? A block, a block, ogre there is very, very powerful, isn't it? Yeah, I like. I really, really like the block ogre. Like, I, I've just been messing about with ogres a fair bit recently, <laughs> and uh, yeah, like I, I, I just genuinely like. If you're gonna take a big guy, like, put block on it and punch with it. Like, especially on a team that doesn't have like natural mighty blow anywhere else. Hmm. There you go, but he's gonna need he's gonna need that mighty blow as well because he's gonna have to get pretty lucky against a terrifying dwarf team. Hero, three rerolls, Apple, twelve players. Thank you very much, Raw Rainbow, staying fantastic for fifty-seven glorious. Let's go, Jimmy. And uh, yeah, very guard spammy. Yeah, five guards and a mighty blow. Lovely. I don't really like two troll slayers, but that's what he's taken and two runners. So he's got quite a lot of armor eight. Yeah, and it's an ogre's pretty good in this matchup. Although the two troll slayers are pretty good against the ogre. But... Mm. It's hero, isn't it? Hero loves his dwarves, then he he's played them quite a lot recently. So yeah, there's a lot to be said for like taking what you're comfortable with as well, isn't there? So I mean, hero plays a lot of stuff, really, to be fair. But I think he's recently he's been playing like the last year or so. I've seen him when I've seen him, he's been playing dwarves. Mm. And play dwarves in the season two finals, of course. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm really not a fan of two trolls there. I think maybe it's just one. If you want one, have one. I really don't like two. But how's the money work out though? Is it like a weird amount of money where? Oh yeah, you just have to get like assistant coaches. Also, he's got a cheerleader around an assistant coach. Well, maybe he just had wrong. money left and was all. Oh, yeah, but I just I just don't like your armor eight, right? Like I just don't want extra armor eight because they yeah. just get targeted relentlessly. It means it's frenzy though, it's frenzy and dauntless so it's... It is, but it's armor eight and it means sixteen more blocks are on armor eight instead of armor nine, right? So like it's it's huge. No, I get it, I get it. It's huge having armor eight on them. So yeah. Not a fan of the double slayer, but you know, fair enough. And it's slightly out for him. faster as well. Like maybe he's going for this. Are. These are the faster. Mm. These are the faster dwarfs, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's as fast a dwarf a team as you can make, isn't it? The two runners, and the two blitzers, and the two slayers. So yeah, it's these as fast as it can are be. Rapid. <laughs> 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 rapid, you should have called them rapid they'll, dwarves. <laughs> they'll be steaming past you in eight turns. <laughs> yep. And and then we've got the Rat Mirror. The last two are Sol and Olivier Dulac. Uh, so, yep. Skaven were also in tier two. So, Sol's gone with what well, similar to what he won the Chaos Cup with, in that he's got a strip wrestle. He stacked strip wrestle on a gutter. And then a block leader for four oh. rerolls. And Jugs tackle. How many re -roll, free re rolls? Interesting, eh? So is it four re rolls because of the leader? Yeah. It's just so scary, man. It looks so defenseless. Like, but yeah, I mean, he's the. I guess leaning into the one turner. Yeah, it's it's not what I would do. I'll tell you that. He's, I, I'm, he's I'm not, not he's a fan. Got of a sidestep rats. either, is he? So the one turner's slightly harder as well. Yeah, yeah, no sidestep. And uh, <laughs> the best Skaven coach in, in America, well, North America even, is Sol. And then, of course, the French bloke is the top-ranked NAF player in the world, Olivier Delac. His team name is Is Olivier Fantastic? We'll find out. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll get to watch him more than I've ever watched him now with this tournament. So that's good, isn't he's, it? He's quite a funny guy, like, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, they're pretty cool. I mean, you know, obviously well known in the NAF style. Um, so it'll be good to see him, you know. It'll be good to see him. Oh, yeah, Sol is number one, world number one sevens coach. That is true. Uh, so, yeah, so he's again, like like Sol, he's gone for the juggernaut. Um, he split the wrestle and the strip, um, which obviously saved him a skill. And then he's got the leader just the same. He's got the sidestep to help with the one turn. He has actually not gone three rules, he's gone two re rolls and an apple. Like Sol, so he's, you know, Sol is yeah, so he's got jugs and sidesteps, so he's one turn and it's like much easier, yes, yeah, and much then, better. One and turn. then, yeah, might in a guard, no tackle, and like, yeah, like strip wrestle is, I mean, like, obviously, like, strip is strip wrestle, yeah, I, I, I like having the two options because obviously, if one's not in range, then the other one might be, or well, probably yeah. is because it's a gutter runner, <laughs> so. yeah, 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 I think I prefer this building. Oh, that is a very good point, look. We've got Assassin's Creed. 
<laughs> Cut the runner. That is a that is a pretty strong. That is a pretty strong. Uh, a strong. Oh, they look so spindly, don't they? Don't they? they do. Yep. Yeah. So there you go. That is that is the Blood Bowl Super League. The twelve teams are in. The matches. The schedule is set. The matches will be starting from. Saturday. It's like I guess everyone's going to be streaming them, aren't they? Because Annie will be streaming his, you'll be streaming yours. Art, I hope, will be streaming his, and then Olivier does a bit of streaming. Soul does some streaming. I don't know if Cruz will. Moomin will stream it, right? Wouldn't he? I think so. Yeah, I think Moomin streams a bit. Yeah, I mean, Chris Aring used to, didn't he? Yeah, and Aaron used to. So. Yeah. So check out all these names on Twitch streams. because yeah. I think yeah yeah check out all the names on Twitch. Make sure you follow them. Because they'll be streaming the games. Yeah, and sure. uh, and whether whether they're whether they're streamed or not, um, I will be doing like you know replays of everything so so that they're all on my oh, channel. Replays. So yeah. Jim's going to be studying all his opponents. Exactly right. It's great. It's, it's a nice. it's a great thing for like you know watching Blood Bowl, isn't it? It's it's going to be an absolute spectacle. All the top players. It's exciting, Jim. I'm glad you're doing it, and uh, you deserve a well done for doing it. Cause, uh, Thanks. BB3 needs something like this to give us something to view. Oh, thanks to me. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Like, really, I wanted... Like, you know, <laughs> it, it obviously came from a selfish place of, like, you know, wanting something to watch as well as, well as like, yeah, you know, participating. Yeah, I mean, it's, so. mate, it's good. And, like, the quality in this is, like, way higher than your average chalice anyway. So it's, like, this is, like, bit bit level quality. So mm. maybe higher. Arguably higher. <laughs> um, yeah, it's very much. I mean, some of the blitz pits were really high, but this is about, this is about as as good as as good a twelve man comp as you can get, isn't it? More or less. Very, very, very high quality on the old Blood Bowl three. Um, that, that's that's one thing I will say about the Euro Bowl walls as well is like uh, people saying like Orcs tier two, like generally, all of the teams get way more than like. So I know Orcs see madness in tier two, but like there's some really good other teams in it. Like it just like everyone is good that's kind of like the way they've designed the rule set so like there's teams that you won't see in this like amazons and stuff like that which are like even stronger like necromantic are really good in this rule set like mm -hmm. <clears throat> there's loads and like, like the whole thing with europe always you can pretty much pick any team and you can build a good roster with it so this is um this this is interesting the talk of the underworld is the underworld were kind of nerfed by the limitations of the client right um, if yeah. you go underworld, you'd probably have four or five re rolls, and you'd, you'd much rather just have like three re rolls and three bribes, right? So, um, yeah. so they did get a bit of a. I mean, I still wouldn't have minded like doing underworld, like, but again, I'm not like an underworld expert, so I'd rather play something that are just more like normal blood. Bowl I mean, at the end of the me. day, like they can still one turn and they can still like, uh, like just all out and score, do you know what I mean? They're still a fantastic team, it's just fouling is a massive part of their game, right? Yeah, Which yeah. Which is I mean, why I was kind of like looking at Call Troops team thinking like, you haven't got a bribe, you haven't got a DP, you ain't got a sneaky yet. And uh, it does look like you're setting up to foul, so. But it'll be interesting, it's gonna be it's gonna be really, really good. I'm glad, that I, like, in all honesty, like, I was memeing a bit about all the Orcs being in a division together, because that would just be miserable for everyone <laughs> in that division, so. Yeah. It's probably worked out perfectly in the long run that we've got a split of the orcs and a, a split of most of the other races as well. So yeah, happy days. Yeah, really cool. So there you go. Um, yeah, we'll do. We'll do. We'll, that'll be happening very, very soon. I'll obviously, put when when matches are scheduled and stuff, and uh, and and do the replays or do them live, depending if people. I don't know. If people are streaming them themselves, maybe don't do them live. But uh, whatever happens. All There's of the gonna games. be a few, yeah. I don't know, like if I don't think he, like Hero will be streaming any of his games. Diomed maybe, but he mainly talks Russian. He does say hello if you say hello, but he mainly mm. speaks Russian. I, mean, I, don't, I doubt Cruz will be streaming it, but I don't know. He no, he hasn't for a while, has he? But he yeah. used to. Does Cool Troop speak English when he streams, or is he Russian as well? Is he? Ah, uh, Spanish, isn't he? I think. Oh, is he Spanish? Is he? Oh, yeah. sorry, my bad. Yeah. I should have I should have found out what everybody's nationality was, shouldn't I? Like the little graphic oh, no, for just, the World it's Cup. It's more fun when you put down they're from Sweden, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> and then saying Aryans from Denmark. Like, <laughs> you just pick random countries for everyone. That's even better. 
Yeah, I, I know that we're all European. I'm pretty sure. I don't. I'm, I'm not sure on Moomin Slayer. Dave Orr's obviously English. Strider's Swiss. I'm English. Chris Austria, is Russian. Uh, Cold Trip Spanish. I'm pretty sure Cold Trip Spanish. I'm not 100%. I'm just I pretty sure. I thought he was Russian, but I don't know. Mm, I'm yeah. pretty sure. Inarian is Swedish. Art is Welsh. Hiru's definitely Spanish. Sol yeah. is Mr. Florida. Olivier Dulac is French. And Diamond's Russian, right? So it's, it, yeah. Yeah. There you go. So pretty, pretty, uh, makeup nationalities for everyone, yeah. <laughs> So uh, right, well, I mean that's it, isn't it? Well, there you go. That's 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 the end of the video, I guess. Got anything? Any any way to wrap it? Do you want to wrap it up in a in a lovely, eloquent way, Dimmy? Uh, well, just tune in. Make sure you watch the games. Support your favourite guy. And uh, yeah, I I don't know. I don't know who I think is going to win each group. I I'm gonna I'm gonna say. Oh, I don't even know. I just haven't got a clue. I'm just going to watch all the games. I don't even think I'm going to put a prediction in because like, anything can happen, honestly. Anything can happen. Ah, that worked for me. Um, right, they. Sorry, I was just. End, <laughs> you, you did a really good job of wrapping it up, and then I just responded to chat. I do apologise. Thank you very much, Dimmy. Thank you very much, Dimmy. You're the best. What an absolute legend. Hopefully, you can join us for some of the commentary, uh, you know, along with like Fine Room people it. Yeah, if they want to come in. Um, and yeah, really, really exciting and uh, very hyped to see all these players play and stuff. And uh, yep, thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.